make sure that people understood what this bill is and what it isn't. The bill does not create the city of South Fulton. The bill gives the people who live in South Fulton an opportunity to decide for themselves how they want to be governed and by whom they want to be governed. Uh, right now that area is being governed by people who don't live in the area and as a result of that they, they are not sensitive to the needs and the, and, the, and, the, and the conditions under which people are, are living uh, in the area. Uh, there's several people that will talk today, uh, but there's three areas that I wanted to kind of focus on before I turn the, the, the podium over to my colleague, Bert, there is Virgil Flood. And um, one of them has to do with, with the school system um, and the uniqueness of this particular uh, cityhood effort versus some of the others that have taken place. The other efforts uh, did not have a trial period like we've had. We've been functioning as a city for almost 10 years now. The area has uh, been, we were forced, as you know, to set up a separate tax, a special service tax, that is only being paid by that area. And that money is being used to pay for traditional city services, police, fire, uh, zone, and other issues. And, uh, and it's the only area that pays that. So we've had a test period to see whether or not the city is functional, <coughs> whether the city can uh, deal with the, and somebody else will talk about the, the, the financial piece of it, but it is, it's clear that the city is financially solvent and uh, it will continue to be so. And when we get our fair share of the sales tax that we're not getting because we're not a city, uh, this will be a very uh, lucrative and, and, and uh, potentially uh, beneficial area for many, many people. So that's what we want to make sure that people... My name is Camille Moore, and I am um, a Republican, and I think Eva Galumbo will be very proud today. Uh, I'm a native. I've lived in South Fulton all of my life, and there's great things happening in South Fulton. Let me just tell you. Um, I've been involved in cityhood since 2003, and I worked with Ms. Galombo and others um, to push through legislation then. And of course, here we are today celebrating the fact that we have an opportunity to achieve the greatest constitutional right given to us as Americans, and that is to vote on cityhood. And that could not have been done without the leadership of Representative Bruce and Ms. James. I don't know about bipartisanship anywhere else, but I can truly tell you that it works in South Fulton. Our community, like every other community across this country, is made of Democrats, Republicans, black, white, young, old, rich, and poor. And I can tell you today that once the citizens of South Fulton found out that this bill had been signed, there was truly dancing in the streets. And we're so excited that this November, that we would join all of the other cities across this country, and particularly in Fulton County, to say that we ourselves belong to a local body in which we make our own decisions in terms of how we choose to live, and our growth, our destiny is truly in the hands of the citizens. And so, Mr. Bruce, Senator James, all of the legislative bodies, because it took the House and the Senate, it took Republicans and Democrats to make it happen, and history, people, has been made. And 100 years from now, we hope that those that come after us will look back and say that we didn't uh, let them down, that people stayed in the trenches and they stayed the course, and we made it happen. So thank you. Uh, living through the, uh, the tremendous change in Fulton County governance over the last 10, 15, 20 years uh, ought to be applauded because they've been very, very much engaged. And in fact, they've been the ones that have pushed for the legislation, particularly over the last three or four years. So they, and I'm sure you'll hear from some of them a little bit later, uh, are deserving of a great deal of applause and some recognition for their work because it's not just the legislators that did this. Um, and then secondly, I want to um, point out that there are uh, there have been any number of meetings that I've attended personally and others that I couldn't, but the overwhelming support that I've seen and heard by the people who live in South Fulton. As I mentioned, I've represented the area for the last 14 years and uh, have been in numerous meetings 
large meetings, small meetings, one-on-one -on -one conversations, and overwhelmingly, the people in South Houston have said in my presence that they want to have the opportunity to choose their own destiny. Most of them have said they would prefer to be a city, but every one of them deserves an opportunity to at least decide for themselves how they want to be governed. And I'm, uh, as Representative Bruce referred to earlier, I, I would call on the existing cities to give those people who live in unincorporated South Fulton an opportunity on November uh, 4th to decide for themselves uh, how they want to be governed and allow them to have that opportunity. And, I, and I'm convinced, not just by the numbers, but by the sheer will of the people in this community that they will have a city that is not only vibrant, but also a city that is successful.